Welcome back to another Dead by Daylight video. Now this one will be taking a look at the perks of both the new killer and the survivor and what they can do at each tier. Now since the wiki has not been updated with the perks for the new killer and the new survivor at each tier, I had to do this on my own so if there's any spelling or grammar mistakes I'm sorry about that. It took me hours just to find out what everything was at each tier. If you know how to edit the wiki, please go and add this information in for everyone. So let's start with the killer's perks. First we have is Discordance. Anytime two survivors or more are working on the same generator, the generator's aura is highlighted in yellow for 8, 10, 12 seconds, and is teachable at level 30. So this perk is pretty good if you're tired of being gen rushed. Next we have Mad Grit. While carrying a survivor, you suffer no cooldowns for missed attacks, and successfully hitting another survivor will pause the carried survivor's wiggle time for 2, 3, 4 seconds depending on your tier, and it's teachable at level 35. So that means every time that somebody tries to get in your way, if you manage to hit one of those survivors, the person you're carrying now has even less of a chance of getting off your shoulder. And anytime you miss the attack, there is no consequences. You combine this with Iron Grasp, and nobody will ever be getting off of you. And the very last perk for the new killer is Iron Maiden, which allows you to open lockers 30, 40, 50% faster depending on your tier. Survivors who exit from the locker suffer from the exposed status effect for 15 seconds, and their location is revealed for 4 seconds. And it is teachable at level 40. Now we'll move over to the new survivor's perks. Jeff's first ability is Aftercare, which lets you see the aura of every survivor that either you rescue from a hook or rescues you, or completes a healing action on you or you complete on them, and they're also able to see your aura. This will occur for up to one, two, or three survivors, depending on your tier, and resets once the killer has hooked you. And this is a teachable perk at level 35. So the closest perk to it is Bond, except for this appears to have no range, and it only works once you've interacted with each other. But it can be given to every other survivor as well. Next is breakdown anytime you are removed from a hook either escaped or saved the hook will break and the killer's aura will be shown for four five or six seconds and it's teachable at level 30 which is handy because for a small amount of time after being taken off the hook you'll know which direction not to go and if somebody were to mess up or you're being camped that hook is now destroyed so they can't immediately place somebody back on that hook in the last perk distortion you start the trial with three tokens when your aura should be revealed to the killer the perk activates and a token is consumed for the next six eight ten seconds while the perk is active your aura and scratch marks will not show for the killer and it is teachable at level 40. I hope you guys enjoyed this more in-depth video on the perks and the different tiers and what they do because I know a lot of people haven't talked about it yet and I know at the time that I'm making this video the Dead by Daylight wiki has not been updated for the new killer or survivor. So are you playing the PTB? Tell me what you think about the new killer, the new survivor. If you're not, just go ahead tell me what you think about the perks. Are there any that you want to have for your normal killers, your mains, whoever? And if you like this video, leave a like, share, and if you enjoy the content, subscribe to the channel and come on back for more.